we have with us uh, uh, the directors. It takes a village to actually uh, ensure that uh, India achieves this extremely proud and glorious moment. And I have with me uh, directors from uh, different space centers here. Let me go to Mr. Rajarajan first. Uh, sir, he is the man who launched the vehicle. So I'm sure you had a lot of uh, anxious moments before, uh, you know, heading towards this uh, success story and scripting it. Yeah, definitely. These are exciting moments. A Lo lot of lesson learning from Chandrayaan 2 and uh, so many simulation tests test and on the ground like integrated hot test, cold test and do all this algorithm, break it sure, the configuration, reconfiguring and whether anything to be done and all those things will be done and when everything has comes into a synchronized manner of thousands of things, comes in a synchronized manner, it gives a goosebumps to any of them, even if you so confident that it, we have done so many, but it gives you a lot of excitement when it is really culminating and making it a successful soft landing on moon. Another unsung hero is Mr. Nilesh Desai. Sir, what were the greatest learnings from Chandrayaan 2, which has been uh, 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 learnt and unlearnt with respect to Chandrayaan 3? Yeah, so it was a great learning experience. So after the failure of Chandrayaan 2 soft landing, all of us put together our brains and worked towards the hazard detection and evidence scheme because that has to be the major brain behind soft landing and safe landing. So for that, especially our space application center at Ahmedabad, which is working on the development of various sensors and this processing system. So we worked out, the re reconfigured the whole system. In fact, we have in, in totality in the total lander configuration, we have made around 21 changes. It is not that everywhere there was some mistakes or some uh, deficiencies, but we try to make it all more robust and rugged and that way we improved the whole configuration and the, this time the mo emphasis was more on testing. So we carried out a what, lot of rigorous testing in lab. Of course, we do the testing. Then we did very great field trials. What is this? What does this really mean for India? I have with me Mr. Unni Krishnan from Vikram Bhai uh, Space Center. Yeah. So this is the vehicle, the LVM3 that has launched the um, uh, Chandrayaan uh, in July and today it has come and landed. It's a great uh, achievement for a country as well as for the scientific community. First of all, we have demonstrated flawlessly that we can execute such a mission that can take off from here and travel 3.8 lakh kilometers and then precisely land on moon where we wanted. And that to a place on uh, in the southern south pole of moon, which no other country has got. So that way, it is an end to end perfectly executed mission that has almost followed the nominal path, and the landing was very very soft. And it's still not crescendo yet. Uh, I have with me Mr. Padma Kumar, another unsung hero. Uh, so, what can we expect next? Will the, ro will the rover really be removed from the Vikram lander? Typically, it may take around five hours to prepare the ramps in such a way that the rover will be able to come down safely. And uh, we expect that around uh, five to five and a half hours later, the uh, rover will be able to land on the surface. Uh, so that's the timeline that we have now. Yeah. Right. A few hours from now, we will be heading towards the next uh, glorious moment and uh, this will really open the door for many more uh, scientific missions, especially with uh, evidence found of water as well as ice on the craters of the southern pole of this moon.